God bless you. Praise the Lord. Um, this is Evangelist Simpson again. Um, this is a, this is another continuation of discernment of spirits. Praise God. And we'll talk a little bit more about soul power. Um, I would say about 75% of a lot of prophetic that's going on is really not in this. It's not spirit. It's soul power. Amen. I've been to a series of different churches as a young Christian and God has used the church actually to teach me how to use my prophetic to see in the spirit to be a um, seer praise God God had to bring forth training and I've seen a lot in the church I've seen a lot in the body of Christ and I just really it kind of kind of disturbed me because I was thinking that everybody that's saved has it all together and everybody that's a prophet uh, they you know they call themselves a prophet of God and I you know, should be holding themselves by certain standards. And just because you are a um, prophet and you're prophesying, it does not mean your source is coming from the spirit. Amen. Sometimes people can be operating in this soul, this soulless realm, or this psyche realm. And I read a book years ago from Watchman Nee. I don't know if anybody heard about Watchman Nee. And, and, he, and it's called The Latin Power of the Soul. And what he was talking about within the soul there are also gifts within the soul. You also have the prophetic in the soul. You have, um, you know, you can, you know, you can discern everything that you can do in the spirit. You can also do in the soul, but it's illegal for us to use it because see, Satan, the word of God says in the book of, I believe it's Revelation, how he makes merchandise of men and women, men's and women's souls. Amen. So he likes to utilize the soul. God uses the spirit, but Satan utilizes the soul. And that's why you have these people that are psychics and they're witches and are in the occult because their the influence is by Satan influencing their soul. Because um, when we're born again, our spirit is born of God, Amen. But our soul has to be converted, and if the soul is not converted, Satan can use that soul, and that's why we have to give God a complete yes in everything. Praise God, so we won't be victimized by the enemy's plots when he speaks to us because our our soul has been converted. Our soul is surrendered completely to God. That's a process that we have to go through about surrendering. It doesn't come overnight, praise God, because in a lot of times we don't know the difference between because when we, you first get saved, you know, we don't know about a lot of spiritual things and you have to learn. The Bible says, take my yoke and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So we have to learn about the things of God, the things of the spirit and concerning discernment, whether what's the difference between soul power and also, um, you know, walking in the spirit. 